Hello everybody, my name is Marc-Alex Sicoté and I'm the Creative Director on Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Today I'll be taking some questions from the community. So first question is from Sonny T. Lawrence. How do you take the decision in which time period the game will be placed? So uh, we really try to find something that fits with the team. In our case, we wanted to find uh, a, an era that would allow us to bring a lot of innovation into the Assassin's Creed franchise. Uh, uh, setting the game in the more modern era, in the industrial age, uh, in London, felt like a very natural choice for us because it allowed us to have vehicles to create tools like the rope launcher and to really make the experience feel more dynamic. What does it take to become an art director for Assassin's Creed? Well, not being an art director myself, I'll give you what I think it takes. So it takes a lot of experience and you need to have tried uh, very many different things uh, in your career. You know, you need to know the different aspects of producing a game. Uh, you need to be someone that's very creative that, uh, and that can explain his direction to, uh, to many people. You need to have leadership and you also need to have salesmanship so that you can really bring people on board with your direction. So what, I can be, what I've said can be said of uh, what our expectations are for, for most of our directors. Question from Tony Rodiger. What are the most crucial points to decide in which time period the game will take place? So this really comes from uh, a match between the time setting, the setting, and, and the team itself, the capabilities, the capacities of the team and what they have done in the past. The Quebec City team uh, has always been about innovating, of creating innovation into the Assassin's Creed brand, starting with the Leonardo machines back in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. So we wanted to bring this spirit of innovation to our first, uh, for the first time that we were lead on Assassin's Creed. So this weighted a lot into the decision to go with Industrial Revolution London. Question from Stefan Newman. What was the main idea of Assassin's Creed Syndicate? So the main idea behind Assassin's Creed Syndicate was to, uh, again, really freshen up the gameplay experience, to bring innovations into the Assassin's Creed experience that would really make it feel more modern. Question from Leander Seeger. How many people are involved in developing Assassin's Creed Syndicate? Well, the number of people varies a lot throughout the cycle of the development. So you have less people at the beginning and a lot more people when you are into production. So uh, just right here in the Quebec City studio, we've had several hundreds people working uh, on the game and our team is comprised of people from over 10 studios in the Ubisoft network. So you can imagine that a lot of people ended up working on Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Question from Melanie Kaplan. Do you plan to involve more playable female characters? Well, I can't speak for the future of the Assassin's Creed brand, but it's been really something that I've enjoyed doing on Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Having the relationship between Jacob and Evie is something that has really freshened up the narrative aspect of the game and certainly something that I hope I can try again in a later game. Question from Dennis Ackerman. Will the missions be more varied in comparison to AC Unity? Well, if there's one place where I think Assassin's Creed Syndicate shines is in the amount of things you can do in the game and the, lot, the amount of freedom that you have in which you can do those things. So of course you've got the main missions, but the main missions will take you from uh, more Jacob styled missions and to Eevee styled missions. So they both have a very, very different style uh, that will make them feel different in comparison to one another. Of course, there are tons of new tools as well in Assassin's Creed Syndicate, like vehicles and the rope launcher, which make missions feel different. Uh, not only that, but there's the entire conquest of London for you to partake in. So you'll be able to capture uh, Templars and criminals, to, uh, to free uh, children, to liberate strongholds so that you can install your gang there. So there is a wealth of activities for you to, uh, to engage in and to have fun. 
Thank you, and I hope you enjoy Assassin's Creed Syndicate on October 23rd.